SPM, Form 5, Physics. Chapter 5, Radioactivity. In this video, we will summarize the expected learning outcomes of Chapter 5, Radioactivity in the form of concept map. In this chapter, we will learn and understand more about radioactivity. There are five main sections in this chapter. 5.1, Nucleus of an atom. 5.2, Radioactive decay. 5.3, Radioisotopes. 5.4, Nuclear energy. 5.5, Importance of proper management of radioactive substances. In section 5.1, we will learn about the nucleus of an atom. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe the composition of the nucleus of an atom in terms of protons and neutrons, define proton number Z and nuclein number A, explain the term nuclide and use the nuclide notation, define the term isotope. In section 5.2, we will learn about radioactive decay. At the end of this section, you should be able to State what radioactivity is. Name common detectors for radioactive emissions. Compare the three kinds of radioactive emissions in terms of their nature. Explain what radioactive decay is. Use equations to represent changes in the composition of the nucleus when particles are emitted. Explain half-life. Determine half-life from a decay curve. Solve problems involving half-life. In section 5.3, we will learn about the uses of radioisotopes. At the end of this section, you should be able to define radioisotopes. Aim examples of radioisotopes. Describe applications of radioisotopes. In section 5.4, we will learn about nuclear energy. At the end of this section, you should be able to Define atomic mass unit, AMU. Describe nuclear fission. Give examples of nuclear fission. Describe chain reactions. Describe nuclear fusion. Give examples of nuclear fusion. Relate the release of energy in a nuclear reaction with the change of mass. According to the equation E equal to mc square. Describe the generation of electricity from nuclear fission. Justify the use of nuclear fission in the generation of electricity. Solve problems involving nuclear energy. At the end of this chapter, section 5.5, we will learn about the importance of proper management of radioactive substances. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe the negative effects of radioactive substances. Describe safety precautions needed in the handling of radioactive substances. Describe the management of radioactive waste. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.